it all, make it all back, make it all. Looks like somebody had an unsuccessful cattle drive, huh? Yeah, about two hundred dollars lost here. Right. I wonder where these uh these cows were headed to. Probably up to the Quincy home. I was thinking the same thing. I hadn't seen them in a while. Wonder if they know anything about it. Yeah, we'll have to ask them next time we're up there. Well, hell, we still got a long journey up there to see Flacco. Best get moving, I reckon, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Let's keep traveling. Tengo la nómina. ¿Por qué no llevas tu máscara? No mierda, no vine. Así de muy descuidado últimamente, hermano. Coño. En esa actitud será tu final. Deja de preocuparte. Tenemos el dinero. Podría haber ido mucho más suave. Suenas como nuestro hermano flaco. Necesites aclararte, pero va manos de aquí. Okay, deputy. I think everything is in order. All we need to do now, ride over over there to the McFarland's ranch and uh, get that wagon ordered. Yeah, Rick. Yeah, that, that sounds about right, man. Okay, now we'll just get the wagon, right? I'll run over there to uh, Rico and Rodrigo's operation, let their boys know the plan afterwards, and uh, we'll have that wagon placed in an area that is easily accessible for the Jess Wade and Drew Siskvilla to find. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a great plan and all, till uh, Drew and, and Barney start maybe wondering if you were in, uh, in on it. Oh, hell, why would they do that? I'm simply ordering a wagon. I mean, we ain't the ones that's going to be stealing the damn thing, so we'll be fine. We're in the clear, Troy. I'm telling you, this is a fantastic plan. Now, what you need to be working on doing is finding them two people to arrest. Talking. Okay, let's see if, uh, Mr. Mc... Mr. McFarland! Sheriff Rick Mann and his deputy, Troy Lewis. Yeah. Oh, looks like he's not home. There she is! <laughs> hey, Mrs. Bonnie. I'm, uh, you know, Sheriff Rick, Deputy Troy Lewis. Howdy, ma'am. Hey there, Rick. What can I do for y'all? Oh, well, I saw uh, your daddy's not home. So, said I'd come talk to you and you can relay the message. Now, we need a wagon for the people in Armadillo and our sheriff department. And we'd, uh, we need quite a bit of supplies in there. You know, typical horse feed, you know, uh, stuff to, for weapons and all that good stuff. Just mainly for transportation. If you could have your daddy order us one of y'all's specialty wagons, that would be lovely. We'll pay in advance. Uh, or when, when, when we arrive to pick it up. Uh, I know y'all's wagons go for about 200, correct? Uh, that's about right, Sheriff. Okay, well, hey, we're gonna get out of your hair. Let your daddy know, please. I think All right, Troy. Yep, now. yep, we're, all, we're leaving now, Mrs. Bonnie. She ain't too keen, keen to me. Rick, you didn't sound too convincing, man. man. Troy, I tried my damn best, man. Shit, got a lot of mind. 
Let's ride over to your house and discuss things before I head on over and talk to the Hernandez brothers boys. <laughs> You home? I'm outside, Daddy. In the backyard. All right, son. Stay in the back. Me and Rick got some business to discuss. That's right, Colt. Damn it. <laughs> you go and do what you're doing now. Troy, I really think this uh, this plan could go down and get these uh, sister Wade out of her hair and off the Hernandez brothers' backs. Where are we going to put this wagon? Now, I'm, I'm, let's see, I'm leaving that up to the Hernandez brothers, Rico and Rodrigo, to figure out where to put it. I'm sure they'll put it somewhere on the border, kind of out in the open, look, looking like it's getting ready to cross over the border into Mexico. Sisk and Wade, they're going to search endlessly till they find that wagon for the McFarlands. And when they do find it, big explosion off of them. Troy, we got to go ahead and get over there to their operation. Let me tell you, these fellas are crazy as hell. So just be prepared. Let me do the talking. Saying yours, Sheriff Rick Mann and his deputy, Troy Lewis. Now we're here because we got some information that you fellas need to relay to your boss, Rodrigo and or Rico. Now, deputy, would you like to explain to them just exactly what we need them to tell Rodrigo and Rico? Allow me to explain. Oh, there's going to be a wagon uh -huh. that's posted up in McFarland's ranch, and it's going to be there for pickup any time tomorrow. So you tell your boss, Rodrigo and Rico, that it'll be there for pickup for them to steal. Thank you, Deputy. Left out a very important detail that it needs to be intercepted by Jess Wade and Sisk. This has got to be it, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Hey, Ben, you're not up here paying a social call, huh? And not quite, Flacco. We're actually looking for some information on your brothers. You want to know about Rodrigo and Rico, huh? Yeah, not. You ain't got to go into too much detail. Just any any information you can give us on them. Ah, uh, why would I? Why do you want information on my brothers? Considering y'all are split up, I'm guessing there's some bad history between y'all. Yeah, and they killed our friend. Well, we were once a tight knit group. We rode together, robbed, and killed. But they started getting out of control, especially Rodrigo. And I didn't feel safe with them. So I had to make my own way. And they hated me for it. One thing you need to know about them is that they're always in Mexico. Anytime they do a robbery over in America in the States, they do it quick and they're out, back to Mexico. So it would be very hard to try and draw them out and keep them here. But if you continue to mess up their operation, wiping out little gang spots here and there of theirs, They'll end up blaming each other. Without a doubt, I've seen it. That is the only way that they will collapse. To create We're already doing tension it in between that doing strong it. brotherhood of uh, Well, then it's a ticking time bomb. Tick, tick, tick. Trust me. Well, all right then, Flacco. Thanks for the information. Oh, yes. Okay, you better leave. Well, you know what, Black O? Screw you too, then. You know, you're still a part of their brotherhood. Uh, <laughs> Be honest, you should have tried to talk some sense into him. All this could have been avoided. Whatever, I tried. <sighs> Tienes ojos en él? Si, no hay guardas a la vista. Recuerda, rápido y fácil. No hay necesidad de matar. Yeah. 
das molesta! Lieber den, du ¡No! ¡No! ¡Ah! Oh, ¡Hora de salvar su trasero otra vez! Fue divertido, ¿verdad? ¿Qué carajo te pasa? Nada. Trabajo bien hecho. Ni siquiera habrían sabido que fuimos nosotros quienes lo robamos. Realmente estás empezando a pierder la cabaza, creo. Estoy empezando a pensar que te has vuelto blando rico. Maté a todos esos hijos de puta de allí atrás. Bueno, lo arruinaste con tus loquianos. Lo que sea, tenemos que poner este vagón en posición. Some of the ranch hands told me about a wagon that had gone missing, stolen. Yes, it was a wagon that, that Sheriff Rick Mann ordered. Well, Bonnie, that's a $200 wagon. That's not good. And Sue Ann was murdered. Some Mexican gang that rode through here. They killed all sorts of people, Daddy. I knew that Rick Mann was involved somehow. Son of a bitch. Deputy, it was a success. The wagon was stolen. But damn it, the Hernandez brothers killed half the damn town doing so. Rick, see, those, those are my exact worries, man. Yeah, yeah, shit, man. But hell, we're gonna get the Siskin Wade fellas now, 
and there's no ties back to us. We simply ordered our wagon, Troy. It's gonna be all right. Now this better not come back on us. Well, at least we'll, we're on the track of taking out the damn Siskin Wade. That's right, that's right. And listen, hey, Colt and my boy, they're gonna be fine. They're good. They have no idea what's going on with none of this mess. And hell, we're gonna get them. Hey, how, how are them, uh, you, you got the prisoners yet? Best news of the day for you. Rounding them up, two drunks in the bar. Oh, <laughs> I, God, Troy. Man, it's been an okay day. Shit, all right. Well, we'll make an announcement to the town of Armadillo in the next two days or so and let them know that we got the sons of bitches that have been robbing the trains. Hell, we'll be all right. Where exactly are we putting this wagon? Like a torch, Troy. Deputy, I don't know those things. I, I did my part, and the Hernandez brothers are going to line it up for where they exactly need to put the wagon. Like I said, it'll probably be on the border between here and Mexico. All right, partner, you're going to take that uh, fine thoroughbred over there to the, uh, the ranch stable? Yeah, load her up. All righty, then. Mr. Wade? Mr. Jess Wade? Yeah. Who's that? Them you, Mr. McFarlane? Hey, partner, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a little bit, see what he needs. Hey there. My daughter told me about you fellas. Think I could have a word? Yeah. What's it about, Mr. McFarland? A wagon that was ordered by the sheriff in Armadillo, Rick Mann. It was stolen recently. The other day, as a matter of fact. And um, it was stolen by some Hernandez brothers that I hear uh, have come across your path more than once. Yeah. I know them sons of bitches. They killed our friend Johnny Powell. Johnny Powell, I know him. He used to help out here every now and then. Comes from a good family. They killed him, huh? Yeah, that's right. Killed him in cold blood, burned his house down. Ah, oh, God, that's terrible to you. Hey, I'm, uh, I'll meet you down there in a second. Hang on. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Drew McFarlane. I've heard of quite a bit about you. As yourself. Mr. Wade, uh, I, I hear that you've caused quite the disruption between that gang. And I was wondering if you could potentially get that wagon back for us. It's quite a bit of money and had a lot of supplies in there that I could sell, make that money back. Yeah, yeah, uh, we, could, we could probably do that. Uh, why don't you show me where you, where you had it located and um, everything that was stolen in there. Then uh, maybe I can get some tracks. Okay. Yeah, walk over here with me. I'll, I'll show you around. Now, it's kind of a big ranch, um, and the people here are quite frightened. Several people lost their lives that day. That's a damn shame. Well, I'll follow your way, Mr. McFarland. Now, here's where my daughter tells me the wagon was located at the time it was stolen, and the riders came up from that hill up yonder. That's Sue Ann's house, right over to your left there. That's the fine lady that was murdered. Well, now, uh, Mr. McFarland, there's a lot of, uh, a wagons that, that look similar to the one that was stolen, I'm sure. Any, uh, details on it that could be descriptive in helping us find it? Ah, absolutely. There's a McFarland's Ranch logo on the side. I'll show you. I have a bunch of them in the, in the blacksmith shed over yonder. Um, this was Sue Ann's house here. And, by God, rest her soul. That's a damn shame. Innocent woman had to die like that. It seems that's a, that's a trait that the Hernandez brothers have. Killing innocents. What do you plan on doing with that house? Uh, I reckon we'll leave it open for rent or something like that. Anyway, right in here is where uh, a lot of our logos, you know, where we, we brand our horses with them too. The, the horses on the wagon will be branded. I've left that detail out. I'm sorry. My brain's all over the place. I've been dealing with a lot since that robbery. Yeah, I can imagine, Mr. McFarland. As you can see, we uh, lost a lot of supplies. That sheriff requested a lot of grain, cornmeal. Well, Jess, uh, I can't thank you enough, and thank your partner, too, for that horse he brought in. Uh, I, I can't help but think that that sheriff over there in Armadillo is a little shady. I've known the son of a bitch for quite some time, and uh, I can't help but think he had something to do with this. I don't know what he would, why, why he would have any involvement, but... 
Yeah, I'm starting to think the same. Something doesn't add up, does it? No, it doesn't at all. Anyway. Yeah, well, listen, as soon as we get back, we'll start looking for that wagon of yours. I aim to do that swiftly. I appreciate uh, everything you fellas do here at McFarland's Ranch. Oh, yeah, well, yes, we, we greatly appreciate your help, Mr. Wade. Walk back over to the house with me. And I'll, uh, I'll get your payment for you. There's no need for any payment. We're going after these Hernandez brothers the same as you. Uh, I insist, Mr. Wade. It's too much of your time to not get paid. All right, Jess. Safe travels. All right, Mr. McFarlane. Expect us back in a couple of days.